Nothing beats family movie night. Good flick, good company, and most importantly, good snacks. You're just saying that because you picked the movie, Peter. And the snacks. Oh yeah, there's nothing I love more than watching The Sound of Music for the umpteenth time. Come on, Brian, it's a classic. Plus, I've heard dogs love musicals. What would Brian know? He's too busy dreaming about his next intellectual pursuit. Yeah, contemplating the existential dread of being a dog in a human world. Riveting stuff. Whoops, party foul. April, you're on cleanup duty. Only if you promise not to sing along this time. We all remember the last incident. Hey, my singing is not that bad. I've been practicing in the shower. That explains the neighborhood dogs howling every morning. You guys hear that? Sounds like some real action is happening out there. Oh, Brian, you and your wild imagination. This is where the real action is. The hills are alive. I can't take another night of The Sound of Music. I need something more. That eccentric scientist owes me a favor. If anyone can help me become an adult for a day, it's him. Montague, it's Brian. I have a proposition for you. How do you feel about transforming a dog into a man for a day? No, I haven't lost my mind. I'm serious. You remember that neural transmogrifier you were bragging about? I want in. This is it. Brian Griffin, the man. Peter won't know what hit him. Donuts, here we come. Brian, you're a genius for suggesting this. Oh, you know, just thought we could use a little midnight snack adventure. This doesn't look like any donut shop I've ever seen. It's uh, a new kind of donut shop, very exclusive. Oh, Brian, you've brought the uh, other subject. Yeah, this is Peter. Peter, this is Montague, the donut scientist. Donut scientist? Is that even a thing? This machine will give you the ultimate donut experience. What in the world? Brian! Wow, it worked. I'm, I'm human. This is not a donut shop. This is some kind of mad science lab. I just wanted donuts. What kind of a twisted world is this? Well, that went differently than expected. Success. Brian, welcome to humanity. Time to see what this new body can do. Look out, here comes Brian Griffin, the man, sort of. How did this happen? Oh my god, our house! Call the fire department. Are you guys okay? Was anyone inside? Brian! Brian! Brian, where are you? Everything we had is in there. We need to get you to somewhere safe, come on. Brian, why? Let's see how those shellbacks handle a little chaos. A little tweak here, a little tampering there. Perfect. Sorry, Peter. But I need a scapegoat, and who better than you? What happened here? Someone sabotaged our gear. And I think we know who. Look, it's Peter Griffins. But why would Peter do this to us? It doesn't matter why. We need to find him and get some answers. 
and the plot thickens. Time for my grand exit. Let's move out, team. We have a traitor to confront. This place gives me the creeps. Why are we stopping here? We're running on fumes, April. We need gas if we're going to keep searching for Brian. You think you can just replace me with donuts, Peter? Think again. Peter, what just happened? I, I don't know. It just blew up. We've got to get out of here. That was close. Maybe too close. Come on, come on! We can't lose him! Be careful, Peter. He's all over the road. Ha! Let's see if you can keep up with this, Peter. This isn't working! He's too fast! There! He's turning! Watch out for that truck! <laughs> No! We lost him! What do we do now? I don't know, April. I just don't know. This place looks like something out of a spy movie. Focus, Peter. We need to find that cure. Look, there's a camera. Wait for it to turn, then we make a run for it. I feel like an overweight ninja. The cure has to be here somewhere. Is this it? It's got Montague's label on it. That's it. Let's get out of here. Oh no! We tripped an alarm. This way. There's an emergency exit. That was too close. We've got what we came for. Now let's find Brian. Do you think he'll actually show up? He has to. It's our best shot. Well, well, well. What do we have here? Now, Peter. Do it now. What? What happened to me? I'm so sorry, Peter. I didn't mean for any of this to happen. It's okay, Brian. You're back now. That's all that matters. We were so worried about you. Let's go home, buddy. Yes, let's go home. You know, Peely, I wish I could be as cool as those Ninja Turtles. They're always having these wild adventures and saving the day. Well, maybe you should start by acting more like them. Confidence is key, you know? Confidence, huh? But I don't have a cool shell or martial arts skill. What about a suit? A nice tuxedo always adds a dash of class and confidence. A suit, eh? Like a sophisticated turtle? I like it. Behold, the new and improved. Time to show the world what I'm made of. Looking sharp. The Ninja Turtles won't know what hit them. Watch out, Fortnite. Here comes the new superhero on the block. Oh, no, no, no. This isn't like the video game. Hey, what's the big idea? You could have gotten someone hurt. Oh, man. I'm so sorry. I was just trying to be like those cool Ninja Turtles, you know, with the fast cars and the hero stuff. 
You don't become a hero by causing car crashes, buddy. Yeah, I guess I got a bit carried away. Sorry about your car. Just be more careful next time, okay? Being a hero isn't about showing off. Got it. No more reckless driving for me. Hey there, beautiful. You know, I'm kind of like a superhero too. They call me, uh, the amazing Peter Man. Is that so? And what exactly are your superpowers? Well, I have the incredible ability to eat a whole pizza in one sitting. And uh, I'm really good at video games. That's quite unique. But I'm afraid I'm more interested in heroes who save the world, not just their appetite. Oh, right, of course. Saving the world, yeah, that's important too. Maybe focus on finding your true strengths. It's not all about flashy moves or smooth talk. Yeah, you're probably right. Thanks for the advice, Matt, and sorry for bothering you. Man, being cool and heroic is a lot harder than it looks in the movies. Okay, you can do this. Just like in the movies, be a hero. Oh no, this is not what I planned. I was supposed to be cool, not a human disaster. What in the Fortnite is happening? My yacht, my Lambo. Sorry, Midas, really sorry. This hero thing is way harder than I thought. You'll pay for this, Griffin. You've ruined my yacht. Hey, dude. Rough day, huh? I saw the fireworks show. Impressive, in a way. Oh, man, you saw that? I was trying to be cool like you guys, but I guess I'm just a big old goof. Hey, we all have our moments. But you know what? I see something in you. You've got heart, and that's what counts. Really? You think so? Totally. How about I show you some ninja moves? Help you find your inner turtle, so to speak. That would be amazing. I'd love to learn from a real hero like you. Awesome. It's going to be fun. But just a heads up, we don't usually set yachts on fire. Deal. I promise no more yacht fires. I'm ready to learn, Master Michelangelo. Okay, leadership is all about making the right call under pressure. You ready to try? As ready as I'll ever be. Uh, do I jump over this or go around? Remember, assess the situation quickly and make a decision. Trust your instincts. Guess my instincts need a little tuning, huh? It's all part of the process. Let's try a different approach. Think about your team and the best way to lead them. Did I do it right this time? Much better. Leadership isn't just about being the first. It's about making sure everyone gets through together. Thanks. I think I'm starting to get it. All right, let's see what you've got. Show me your best move. Uh, my best move usually involves a couch and a TV remote, but okay. Come on, this is basic stuff. You gotta be more agile, like a ninja, not a stumbling buffalo. Hey, I've got more moves than a buffalo. Watch this. Nice try, but let's focus on not hitting the ground first. Get up, let's go again. All right. But if I pull a muscle, I'm blaming you. Not bad, see? You're getting the hang of it. Now let's try something a bit more advanced. Advanced? I just learned how to stand without falling over. I gotta admit, you're not as hopeless as I thought. Keep this up, and you might just become a decent fighter. Hear that? I'm not hopeless. Wait till I tell Lois I'm a decent fighter. Whoa, Donnie, this place is like a geek's paradise. What does this button do? Peter, wait. That's my experimental... Oops, my bad. 
so much for being tech savvy, huh? It's okay, Peter. Let's start with the basics. This is a bow staff integrated with tech. It can, Peter, are you listening? Donnie, what's this shiny thing over here? Looks like a laser pointer on steroids. That's not a toy, Peter. It's a high intensity plasma cutter. Please be careful with that. Whoa, is it supposed to make that sizzling sound? Okay, let's try something simpler. This is a basic communication device. Cool, does it get Netflix? No, Peter, it's for missions, not streaming. You know what? Let's take a break. Maybe some hands-on training would suit you better. Hands-on, you say? Like playing video games? I'm in. Not exactly, but let's see how you handle some real action. Leave me alone. Help someone. This is it. Time to be the hero you always wanted to be. Hey, buddy. Why don't you pick on someone your own size? And who are you supposed to be? I'm the guy who's going to stop you. That was amazing. How did you do that? Let's just say I had some great teachers. Are you okay? Yes, thanks to you. You're a real hero, you know that? I guess I am. Just doing my part to keep the city safe. Eat my dust. Gwen's gonna see who's the real Speed King. It's not just about speed, it's about skill. And I've got plenty to impress Gwen. Oh, we'll see about that. She'll be swooning over the winner and that's gonna be me. In your dream, I've got a few tricks up my sleeve. Yes, victory. Looks like I'll be Gwen's date. Ah, you got lucky. But she'll see who the real hero is soon enough. Luck had nothing to do with it, bro. Pure skill. Time to plan my date with Gwen. Enjoy it while it lasts. The next race, the stakes will be even higher. You should have seen your face when I crossed that finish line. Priceless. Yeah, yeah, laugh it up. Just remember the race was close. Close only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades, brother. And when I'm done with my date, Gwen's gonna forget all about you. That's what you think. Gwen's not going to fall for your geeky charm that easily. Oh, we'll see about that. I've got a few romantic tricks up my sleeve. Interesting. Seems like these turtles have a weak spot. This could be useful. Just remember, all's fair in love and war. You might have won this race, but the battle for Gwen's heart is far from over. Keep dreaming. I'll send you a postcard from our date. The turtles. Always a thorn in my side. But now, we have something to use against them. Yeah, I noticed the little race. Raphael's pride took a hit, didn't it? Exactly. And I've got just the plan to use that defeat to our advantage. We could twist this to corrupt Gwen, turn her against the turtles. I like where this is going. Imagine the chaos when one of their own turns on them. Imagine no more. We're going to make it happen. A bit of manipulation here, a few lies there, and the turtles will be at each other's throats. And all we need is the right moment to strike. Raphael's defeat is our golden opportunity. We'll play on his insecurities deep in the divide. Soon the turtles won't know who to trust. This should lure him in. Raphael can't resist playing the hero. Hey man, are you okay? What happened here? Oh, thank goodness. I, I thought no one would come. I, I lost control of the car. Hang on. I'll call for help. Just stay still, all right? Thank you. I thought I was done for. 
What the? Sorry, Raphael, but this is where the real fun begins. You won't be feeling like yourself soon. Let's see how your brothers handle you now. You have a new mission. Your target is Gwen. You know her, don't you? Yes. Good. I want you to find her. Get close to her. And when the moment is right, give her a kiss. A special kiss infused with my venom. Oh, and Raphael, make sure it's a kiss she'll never forget. Tonight's the big night. I've got a date with Gwen. I'm thinking of taking her to that new rooftop cafe downtown. You know, the one with the great city views? Sounds interesting. What time are you planning to meet her? Around 7 p.m. I've even planned a little stargazing after dinner. Romantic, right? Very. And where's this cafe again? It's on the corner of Maple and Fifth. Can you believe it? Me on a date with Gwen. Yeah, hard to believe. Hope it goes well. You sure you're okay? You seem different. I'm fine. Just thinking about stuff. Make sure you impress her, Donnie. Don't worry. I've got it all under control. I mean, what could possibly go wrong? You'd be surprised. Hi, Gwen. You look beautiful tonight. No, no, that's too forward. Maybe. Glad you could swing by. Ugh, too cheesy. Okay, play it cool. You've got this. Just be yourself. But maybe a slightly cooler version of yourself. Just keep driving. Lead me right to her. Gwen's gonna love this place. Rooftop dining under the stars can't get more romantic than that. Almost there. Just a little further. Here goes nothing. Time to sweep her off her feet. Now it's my turn. Did you see that part? Classic ninja move. I did! You guys could learn a thing or two from this movie. Wow, that ending was amazing. Didn't see that twist coming. Neither did I. Great pick for a movie date, Donatello. Thanks for a lovely evening. I had a great time. Maybe we can do this again sometime? I'll consider it. But next time, you're choosing the snack. Thanks for the movie. I really enjoyed it. I'm glad you did. I'll see you around, Gwen. Definitely. Good night. Raphael, what are you doing here? Just passing by. Score. See that? That's how you do it. Nice shot. But I've got moves on and off the field. Oh, really? I bet my girlfriend would disagree. She says I'm the best. Best? My girl thinks I'm a genius in romance. She's all about brains over brawn. Are you guys really arguing about this? You know this won't end well. How about a challenge? Let's swap girlfriends for 24 hours and see who's the real charmer. Swap girlfriends? You're on. Let's see who's the best with the ladies. This is a bad idea, guys. Really bad. You're playing with fire. Relationships aren't games, you know. Relax. It's just a friendly competition. What could possibly go wrong? Yeah, it's all in good fun. Plus, I'm curious to see how this plays out. Hey, 
I need to talk to you about something important. Michelangelo? What's up? Is everything okay with Donatello? Well, that's just it. I've been hearing things about Donnie. I think you should know. What? <laughs> I hate to be the one to tell you this, but Donnie's been seeing someone else. I thought you deserved the truth. No, that can't be. Donatello wouldn't do that. I'm sorry. I know it's hard to believe. I just thought you should hear it from a friend. I... I don't know what to say. I thought he was different. Hey, how about I take you out tonight? You know, to take your mind off things. Just as friends? Yeah, maybe that's a good idea. I could use a distraction right now. Great, I'll pick you up at 8. We'll have a great time, I promise. Thanks, I appreciate it. Hey, April, can I talk to you for a minute? Donatello? Sure, what's up? It's about Michelangelo. I think there are some things you should know. What about Michelangelo? I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but Mikey's been pretty disrespectful behind your back. He doesn't seem to value what you two have. What? Michelangelo wouldn't do that to me, are you sure? I wish I wasn't. It's just, he's not as serious about you as you think. I thought it was only fair that you knew. I can't believe this. I thought he was different. I understand how you feel. How about we go out tonight? It might help take your mind off things. Maybe you're right. I do need to get out and clear my head. Great. Let's meet at 7. I promise it'll be a fun evening. Okay. Thank you for being honest with me. I'm really glad you decided to come out with me tonight, Hope. Thanks. I needed a nice distraction. It's been a confusing time. I get that. Sometimes a change of scenery is all you need. May I recommend our special for the evening? Sure. Hit us with your best. You seem to know your way around a menu. Well, when you're not eating pizza, you've got to expand your horizons, right? You know, I didn't expect to have such a good time tonight. Neither did I hope. Neither did I. You know, April, I never took you for the fishing type. Well, there's a lot you don't know about me. I used to come here with my dad when I was a kid. Really? That's pretty cool. I guess we both have hidden layers, huh? And I'm also into photography. I had no idea you were into photography. You really are full of surprises. Yeah, well, there's more to me than just gadgets and tech. I like capturing moments, you know? I didn't expect to feel this way, but absolutely. I didn't expect to feel this way, but... Guys, you should have seen the look on Hope's face. Our date was epic, and we even kissed. That's nothing. April and I had an amazing time at the lake. We really connected, you know? And yes, we kissed too. This isn't a game, you two. You're playing with people's emotions. Don't you see the harm in that? Yeah, what Leo said. You guys are messing with fire here. What if April and Hope find out the truth? Come on. It's just a harmless bet. Besides, I think I really like Hope. I have to admit, I didn't expect to feel this way about April. It's complicated. Complicated? It's irresponsible. You two need to think about the consequences of your actions. Yeah, and what about your relationships with April and Hope when they find out about this bet? Think about that. I guess we didn't really think this through. Maybe we should come clean before this goes any further. How have things been with you? I heard you and Michelangelo had some issues. Yeah, it's complicated. I actually went out with Donatello recently. It was... unexpected. That's odd. I had a date with Michelangelo. He told me some things about Donnie. 
Michelangelo did? Wait, this is starting to sound really fishy. You know, Michelangelo said something about Donnie being a heartbreaker. It seemed a bit off. And Donatello told me some stuff about Mikey that didn't quite add up either. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? That they set this whole thing up? Yes, it's like they swapped us for some kind of bet or game. We need to confront them. They can't just play with our feelings like this. Let's go to their lair and get to the bottom of this. Dude, this is going so well. I can't believe how easy it was to get Hope to go out with me again. Tell me about it. April was totally into our fishing date. We're masters of romance, bro. Absolutely. A little white lie here and there, and we're golden. Who knew we were such smooth operators? I'm already planning something special for April. I think she's really starting to fall for me. And Hope is all about Team Mikey now. I say we keep this going. There's no way they'll find out. You guys really think you're pulling this off? You're playing with fire, you know. Yeah, and when things go up in flames, don't expect us to help put out the fire. Relax, guys. It's all under control. We're just having a little fun. Exactly. What could possibly go wrong? So, this was all just a game to you. How could you lie to me like that? April, I... I didn't mean for it to go this far. I just... And you? Making up stories about Michelangelo? I thought you were different. Hope, please let me explain. It wasn't supposed to... Save it. I can't believe I trusted you. April, I really care about you. I just got caught up in this stupid competition. I never wanted to hurt you. It was just a silly bet. Well, your silly bet just cost you our relationship. We're done. I can't be with someone who plays with people's emotions. Goodbye. What have we done? We've made a huge mistake. We lost them.